Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I had to reboot all the instances because I am going to introduce three platforms today. Um, all right, so when we first started this work stream, um, yeah, globalization translation was a huge part of it. But I made it very clear that information and knowledge is power. And I've stuck to that value and done the best I can to, or doing the best I can to serve both the informational need and as well as the globalization that a word globalizational need um, yeah so i guess uh, we'll get started if there's any like weird echo or you can't hear me for some reason just give me the chat so i know all right, so um, I think uh, right now there's some new languages that are new language channels on our Discord that opened up. Um, yeah, for the most part. They're open, kind of just let's see if um, anyone will kind of like wander in and uh, get involved with the DAO. But officially, beginning October, uh, we're going to launch Korean and Portuguese. And hopefully, Chinese or Mandarin. Um, yeah, and I'm very, <laughs> you guys can't hear me. Oh, no, we can hear you. It was me. My mic was messed up. Um, just to clarify for people, uh, my bad LPX for I was talking to myself apparently for a little while. Um, what you mean by information and you know content in that regard is like more uh, focused on marketing and like reach, right? Like growth. Um, I'll get more into that later, but it's mostly metadata and. Um, I guess uh, making making like you know those metadata and tokenomic data more transparent for anyone who's interested, as well as um, sorry, was it never was that created the the sheets with all the proposals? Yeah, that's never was. I'm sure he will uh, speak if he if you want him to. Uh, yeah, I'll get to that in a bit. But the way that <laughs> uh, you're doing it right now, I see you're in here. So I'll just be first. Um, yeah, it could all be automated. So. Yeah, I'll get to that later, but first, uh, let's, yeah, so we're going to be launching Korean and Portuguese, uh, and I'm really happy to announce that uh, we have our first, I guess, nomination for a global community. Um, he's been very active in this court, and in PMs. You know, he's been actually, you know, giving me a lot of insight about the growth of crypto in Brazil and, you know, it's, it's like throwing ideas around. Um, 
yeah so those were or yeah so when we first started this work stream um the community kind of agreed that we shouldn't try to force uh leaders into joining but rather kind of see who's willing to step up and i think uh the smith is and uh yeah he'll be my first nominee for the leadership position which is which is paid um and that allocated in the budget um yeah do you want to make a quick introduction this yeah minute? sure you guys hear me well yeah yeah, yeah great uh, so hello everybody you guys can call me fabio I'm providing my service to globalization world stream. Um, thank you, Web Jets, for the opportunity. Uh, I'm very glad to be here. I believe it's a fair ground for great ideas. So I will definitely share my ship ship community. So I'm really excited about it. So I came here to present myself and tell a little bit about Brazil. So Brazil is a land of many of many opportunities. Uh, country where the dollar price is always rising so doing stakes in local currency doesn't make sense when there is a crypto offer and i mean a dollar offer so i see many possibilities to establish in shape shift in brazil because uh, brazilian people are very receptive and i know there is a reliable source for potential partnerships here yeah i'm sure i have plans and proposals in mind in order to bring thought token to brazil And I never forgot, I would like to endorse that I'm very excited to work with Martin and Growth. So Martin is my, my core, yeah? so I believe both strings can bring Roy to shapeshift and perform a great work together. So this is a short presentation about myself. I believe that's all for now, and I, I hope jumping this stage often and bring you guys some cool insights, okay? Thank you very much. Hey, thank you, this one. It's cool. Definitely enjoy having you here. Um, LPX, I was talking to him about uh, Wikipedia content um, for him to approach. I'm sure you've already um, got something up your sleeve in that regard. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely approve of that. And um, I wrote that up all day. So it's cool. Perfect. Thank you. I'm definitely excited to have him on board. Uh, hopefully more uh, more I guess global leaders will step up um, and just to kind of remind you guys uh, Portuguese wasn't in the initial I guess uh, first batch of languages that we were targeting so you know if you speak a language that's not that wasn't in the original list, you know, don't feel, I guess, uh, discouraged or um, like you're going to be wasting your time. Uh, just we're really looking for people that are engaged with the DAO and are really passionate about what they about, you know, crypto and shift fox token. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah. We just set up the Portuguese Wikipedia web page. I'm sorry, what was that? Okay, so platform development updates. Uh, 
basically when we started, you know, a lot of people were kind of, I guess, not totally on board with creating a whole new uh, information repository or bucket or whatever you want to call it. But I still think it's not only necessary, but it'll be very beneficial in the short and long term. And I will leave my case, I guess, and kind of show you guys. So, when uh, designing most of these platforms, or, yeah, two of the platforms, you know, a lot of thinking went into planning because I don't want to disrupt any other work stream and their processes. So, yeah, a lot of thought went into how we can integrate with other work streams without, you know, bothering them pretty much. No. Uh, and I guess the most obvious method was kind of integrating Git and Notion. Um, I'll go more into to detail on that layer, but yeah. Git especially is really good because we can actually track uh, contributors. The data is mostly immutable. Yeah, you have to try really hard to kind of game, you know, Git repositories. Um, so yeah, uh, three platforms to First one is One Voice, and I guess, uh, you guys can see kind of like an ongoing theme here. Um, partly because I own the two names, JSHIFT 1, but I thought it made a lot of sense, you know, branding and philosophy wise. So, one voice is pretty much uh, a platform where anyone, not from just our work stream, but it could be, you know, from marketing products uh, or wherever. Uh, hope the uh, the idea is that hopefully a lot of people will participate and kind of give input into what kind of information that we're lacking, what kind of more uh, what kind of aspects and transparency that we're lacking in. Uh, so, yeah, this, this platform is actually live right now. Let me see if you get... Yeah, you should be able to log in through Discord or GitHub, but if you have any troubles, or yeah, shoot me a PM. Um, yeah, we're still trying to, I guess, figure out what the best, like the best uh, method to, I guess, fully utilize this platform. Because if everyone is just posting ideas and whatever, then it can kind of get messy and unorganized. So I'm thinking, um, yeah, should we like strictly keep it to information needs or just shape shift DAO in general? Yeah, if anyone has any 
So just what do you mean? Your... What do you mean by that? I'm sorry. So hopefully, if a lot of uh, curious members or just anyone, uh, if they adopt this platform, uh, we'll have a pretty good idea of the community. I guess once uh, improvement in information, uh, either guides or tutorials or transparency. And depending on what gets loaded up the most, we can put a bounty on that. Very cool. I like that. That's cool. Uh, may I take the word? I can see this as a DAO transparency to outside the forum. So this can ensure transparency, in my opinion. Right. And um, for all the platforms I'm about to show you today, we're, well, either through Portis or MetaMask uh, 3ID, is it 3ID? Uh, the same team as Ceramic, uh, their authentication. But somehow, I guess, uh, link your activity to your wallet. So, when these bounties do happen, it's, uh, it's trustless and it's there. Um, yeah, but that's still a work in progress. Right now, it's just Discord and GitHub. But uh, yeah, if anyone has any ideas, shoot me a PM or feel free to speak out whenever. And when uh, if I can jump, page in, that, I yeah, just uh, I have a I have a question here. This is this is peak coin. Um, this feels like this is fracturing um a lot of like the concentration of um focus that we would I think want as a DAO on um just overall right. Like I, I understand kind of what you're pitching here with. We want to give people more ways to interact with the DAO, but at the same time, if uh, people are on one voice and on the forums and on boardroom and somewhere else, just by sheer math, there's going to be fewer DAO members in each of those places. And it ends up, it, I guess my concern is that it, it feels like it would end up diluting the DAO because they won't get a response back from a lot of DAO members. It's already a lot of work. If you want to be very involved in this DAO, you have to be on boardroom uh, and the snapshot. You have to be in the forums. You have to be commenting on posts. There's a lot of discussions happening in our Discord in the proposal section. And so I guess I'm just curious as to like, it, like is there a, um, how do you plan on addressing that so we don't just keep fracturing things? And then what is the contingency plan if, um, I think that we're, I think that I'd love to see tests on a lot of things, but there also should be plans for folding it if it doesn't work, right? If we find that one voice is not being utilized, are there plans to, uh, redirect that traffic back to the forum, back to places where, um, people can interact with more DAO members? Yes, absolutely. And that was a concern that I struggled with as well. Um, but the truth of the matter is, right now, there's no really organized or like a place to kind of uh, discuss uh, what ideas and or not ideas, but information and guys that we're lacking in, and kind of tying that to a bounty, uh, content bounties, or yeah, just because uh, the forum is is mostly used for you know 
ideation proposals, right? Um, I guess this platform would, um, yeah, I was thinking it might be better to kind of limit this platform just for information that the community like desires and to th this is my perception of it um like how i would utilize what you're doing here because it's not necessarily like um the traditional approach or how most people would utilize it but regarding bounties like if i create a notion doc where i have all the open source bounties um set up and or all the open bounties set up or I have full-time position set up, or I have all these work streams like categorized, um, you know, and it's like this big, huge mess. I can always link out um, to like the job description. Each of these threads that like get upvoted on what on One Voice or whatever it's called, um, each that that thread and like that idea is like a job description in and of itself. And I see what you're doing there, and it would be really easy um, to link out from like a the full job board, um, the full availabilities to each one of these threads as a job description. So that's the way I see it. Um, For the third platform that I'll be introducing today is kind of, a, it's a platform that integrates everything from boardroom, crawling, Zendesk, one voice into, I guess, one, like, one feed that makes sense so uh yeah well this may i guess segment or dilute the form or, or whatever um yeah i kind of speak to thought of a little, little yeah right um, so Adobe does exactly this. Adobe has a forum and they have, they use a third party called user voice. And it's basically like almost exactly how your, um, the structure of this. And, and I hear the, the concern that, you know, we're, we, we already have a confusing set of, you know, snapshot board, uh, boardroom and then the, the forum, and then we're adding another place. This does, it, it covers an un, addressed need where we need a, a place to put simple ideas. It's not a place for discussion of like, I want to learn how to more, you know, more about this. And there's a, a, a thread of topics and discussion in addition to the forum, in addition to Snapchat and all that. It really should be um, much like um, Adobe uses it, which is for, well, they use it for feature requests, and we can consider this a, a method for feature requests for information globalization. I want to learn more about, you know, that I put in the discussion there, like, how do I use a PO app, right? Like, I, I don't get it. I don't think we want novice questions like this in the forums. I mean, not to discourage people, but th that's the whole reason information globalization exists is to, to shine a light on these areas that people don't get. But I don't think we want people flooding the forums to say, hey, ask us all the questions that you want and put it in the forums. The forums seem to be focused on governance and work stream discussion. So this gives us a, 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 a dedicated place that it's just like, put your idea here. And if other people are upvoting it, then we get a solid metric to say, oh, everybody wants to know, like, or there's a, a lot of confusion here on how to use a PO app or uh, I keep using that example, but it, it, it's, it's, it's a simple one, right? So that, that is, I guess, what I would say to this, like, it's not really, I, I, I know it, it's, it's one more thing, um, but it is a place to direct people. If, if you're, again, this is what Adobe does. If people are like, I want this feature, I want this feature, and like, we'll go to, go to user voice and post it there. And if other people like it, they'll also upvote it. And then we'll see that there's traction on this feature, right? Um, that is a good use of this rather than put it in a forum. And then it gets, you know, a forum has a shelf life of a few days and then it kind of dies off. Um, so a, a, a forum like this, where it's a vote that, or a, it's, a, it's an idea that can get sort of upvoted or downvoted, 
uh, and it has continuous traction, right? So it's not just a, a forum that kind of dies out or a forum post that dies out over a couple of days. So that's my thought on it. I guess that makes sense. Um, I just, uh, generally speaking, in uh, my experience, these sorts of things don't get utilized very much. Um, and especially with how early are on we are. So I'm not saying don't do this. Um, that's absolutely not what, what I'm advocating for here. But um, if we find that this functionality is not being used, then there should be plans to sunset it and figure out a way to um, figure out a way to fold it into a place where there are more eyeballs, right? Because I hear a lot of what you're saying, but if, you know, when you say, when I hear, well, when some people voted up, right? Well, we have like, uh, you know, in the forum somewhere around 500 active members. And so if this, you know, if there's a, if there's a request out here on one voice and it's getting 10 votes, um, you know, we're, we're talking about not even, not even like a, a percent of what, you know, is an active use, like the active shapeshift community. Um, and, you know, just sort of like my math brain goes off and says, that's not really a statistically significant amount of direction, right? Like each of these work streams, information and globalization, my work stream, operations, engineering, we are going to have a ton of things on our plate at all times. And of course, we'd like to run in a hundred directions all at the same time. Um, and that's certainly the ideal. Uh, and so I guess my best theory on how to accomplish that is to keep the organization as simple as possible so that people know where to look to find things. And so then people feel empowered to go in a hundred directions at a hundred times. But if we're constantly bouncing between one voice and then the forums and then boardroom and then the proposal discussion threads in the discord, um, information on the website, among other places that we might end up being, we might end up so fractured that we run in a hundred different directions that we don't actually accomplish um, anything of, of significant value. So I guess when you're talking about like Adobe uses this, yes, I totally get why Adobe with millions of, of users and tens of thousands of active developers, um, yeah. I see a definite need for, for something of that size to use, to use something like this. But um, I'm just raising a a, an honest concern that I have that, you know, this is just um, that if, if we are placing things up there and we're getting five votes, 10 votes, um, I mean, I think that there's a very fair argument to make that that's not directional uh, in any way that, or at least in a way that, uh, precludes this from being on um, platforms that are already in use. Because I still don't understand how this isn't just another forum. This doesn't seem to add any value that our forum doesn't add, and it's going to have less eyeballs. So I'm still, told, you know, not against testing it, but those are those are my concerns, and I'm I'm not. I think our audience here is is more of the tip out channel and less of the people that are active in governance, and I think those are very very different groups. And the tip out channel folks are the people that we want to educate and bring into the governance channels, but there is a, a barrier there, right? There's an educational barrier. They just don't know. They don't know where to start. And that's exactly why we don't see any posts on the forum of how do I do this? How do I use a PO app? How do I withdraw? We haven't, we, I can't, I mean, unless I'm wrong, there's not a single post on the forum that is novice level. How do I do this? And it's the opportunity has been there and it hasn't been taken. I think it just feels outside of the, it, I think it, it feels a bit siloed to not siloed, but outside of the comfort zone of most of the people that I think we're addressing with the one voice. My response to that question is then just why not build, why not the information and globalization work stream build out the current forums? Why a new platform? Why try to move an audience somewhere else? Another jump because like, if they're jumped here, they get educated. I'm, you know, let's take it all the way to bedrock. They come here, they get educated. We're still sending them back to the forum to get started on into the governance process. Like that governance process won't be happening on one voice. 
um, information and globalization stuff may be happening on one voice because you know you guys are work stream or the work stream leaders who decide to do that. Um, but we're going to end up putting people back there. Sorry. Yeah, I think we're targeting uh, two different groups here. Um, yeah, these are actually this uh, platform is not actually for, I guess, people that are really knowledgeable uh, about the inner workings of the DAO and that are like, you know, DeFi professionals, obviously. Uh, it's for people that are legitimately curious to ask um, questions, but kind of shy to do it formally on the forum. Um, yes, yeah, just, but um, I definitely get what you're saying. And it's definitely going to be something that we're going to be closely mon monitoring to see if this platform is, uh, you know, a net positive for the DAO. Um, but yeah, and how, would you measure, so. and how would you measure that? Like in my mind, I'm thinking you measure uh, Google Analytics. If you if you could throw Google Analytics on there, how many people are visiting and stuff like that, right? Like I think. I guess that's that's really my main more concern. More than that, I guess uh, more more of engagement and more of what the information or uh, globalization workstream gets out of it. Because, um, yeah, to be honest, uh, it's it's a tool for us to kind of gauge what the community is curious about or uh, want to know more about. So, yeah. Uh, and it's just a much lighter, I guess, platform than the forum. Um, okay. I'm, I'm unconvinced. Yeah. I'm willing to say that after hearing all of this, I'm, I'm still unconvinced, but I'm willing to see the, I'd love to see the experiment play out. It's, it's not a place for discussion. It's not to, to answer questions and engage in long threads. It's give us the topics that you are most, uh, that you are looking for. Okay. Like uh, excuse me, sir. I, I just uh, want to share a particular view. Uh, I also agree with Gray. I get it. Uh, one voice is like bullets that take us to a data funnel. Yeah, it, I believe it is an inclusive idea. So I believe it is possible to identify users' need with a simpler. Uh, we, we are not talking about form, but uh, it is one voice is straight to the point simpler than the forum so and i also believe we can do some campaigns for customers uh, by offering one voice so they can give a feedback so it is a tool that all uh, the streams can use in my opinion Thanks. i i personally um i'm still sticking to i think this looks like beautiful for uh posting like bounty opportunities i love the layout and i guess i'm more focused on like that side of things but i love that like you could probably easily integrate um like like we were talking about and I, we might as well talk about it publicly lpx i wanted to get together with you pete chow and some other people and go over um that topic but i really i think that you probably have a lot for me in that regard that we can talk to and um yeah i i think uh, i mean correct me if i'm wrong but you would like to integrate the job board into this Uh, not this platform. So another platform? We could uh, talk to this, theoretically. I guess um, I'm just fundamentally against an idea that says, this is our work stream special place to vote, discuss, and share topic ideas. Why would we want to have a special place for discussions and voting instead of in the place where discussions and voting happen right now? Because I we still have don't it, understand. it's not being used. It's not accessible. It's a separate login. It's not. It's a place for governance, and it doesn't feel like a comfort zone for people that are novices to this. It's a lighter weight environment to put a single idea to be upvoted or downvoted by the by their peers. You use a, a it uses a Discord login, so you're not using a. You don't have to create a separate account and put your name in and all that kind of stuff. And I guess but I you see, what, I would 
do is, is that we've had this forum up and it is not being used by novice users. So that, that's the metric that I'm going on. It's better right. being used for this. But why wouldn't so we saying, build why not that? It? I'm saying it's, it's not, it isn't being used for that purpose. But if this is intended to shoot things to bounty, then why aren't we wrapping up bounties into the, into the system? That's, that's really all. My only question is like, why not? Like this makes the development of a bounty and job board way easier if we go with this foundation and wrap it all up. Um, but. Yeah, and that was actually one of the, I guess, uh, key points for creating that platform. But for the sake of time, let's uh, move on for now. Uh, yeah, so the next uh, information platform, I guess, is Wendout. Um, so right now, um, there's so much, there's so many APIs, um, so many scraping tools, data scraping, um, just so much data out there that I don't, I don't see why we can't be transparent in an automated way. And that includes, you know, everything from proposals to ideas to um, work streams, finances, community metrics, bounties, pretty much everything. Um, so this platform, the front end is pretty much, yes, ready or done. Um, we just have a flat load of data to connect it with. Uh, for example, this would be kind of this rate with this course. Um, and you, you know how there's uh, that whole information fragmentation right now. So the whole point of this is to kind of have a, like a, like a feed, I guess. Um, a feed of pretty much all the DeFi tools that we're using, all the, uh, yeah, we have, let's see, we have like four different platforms that we're using. So Wendell is actually trying to consolidate everything into one um, while providing transparency. And this is all done automatically with API calls, subgraph, uh, and and reversely, uh, with all the data that we're collecting, it'll be available for other work streams or whoever to, I guess, utilize as well. Um, yeah, so the first uh, example I'm showing right now is the API for the proposal. I guess the uh, use case for this would be maybe a uh, Discord bot or something. Um, you know, just do like hashtag SCP1 or two, and then it'll just show like a brief uh, intro or whatever, and people can just quickly find and access information, but it's more than just proposals. So we're going for every data that we combine. Um, and that also works uh, retroactively. For example, all the discourse uh, posts, the users actually have where to go? There's a lot of yeah metadata. Um, 
somewhere around here, there's a score that Discourse actually uh, assigns to the post. And that score is based on, I guess, uh, user engagement and the user's trust trust score. You know, there's, there's a whole bunch of data that we can go through and I guess uh, get a better look into the members that are actually being really active in the DAO and we might be missing or we might, you know, I guess uh, not be noticing. Um, yeah, there's so much data out there that there's really a lot of things we could do. Um, yeah, some of you guys know that right now um, in Korea and in like, data and AI field. So you know, data collection for me, I think, uh, I guess I might be biased because uh, it is crypto and people don't like their data being harvested, but you know, data is the new gold, digital gold after Bitcoin. So I think it is important that we continue doing this and make it really accessible, uh, not only for the members, but for other work streams as well. I hate to be, I hate to be the naysayer again, but I'm going to have to insist that this gets run past our security team. Um, Data collection on our users is fundamentally not what Shapeshift is all about. By by virtue by by stated statements, by action, by design of our product, um, collecting yeah. user data is fundamentally at our core not what Shapeshift stands for. And so, before this moves any further. Um, I'm going to paint, we, I, we, we have to get security in to audit what it is that you're pulling, um, for sure. I was just, I, I, I just joined, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize this was in the general channel. Um, but, uh, yeah, all, I, I joined and I heard let's collect data from everyone, which I know is not a complete picture, but I'm slightly freaking out. So yeah, fundamentally, sorry fundamentally what shapeshift is not about we're about no kyc we're about freedom ac across borders we're about not people selling their info i i, I will say I, I could imagine data collection being an opt-in thing uh i'm sure that we have people that are uh you know supporters I mean, a lot of people here in the discord i'm sure that would would uh just to help out the the platform let us collect data as long as you know they know what's being collected and and so forth but for the average user we can't expect them to to you know trust us <laughs> uh when we say no we're, we're not using this for evil and the data that maybe i put it the wrong way but the data that we're mostly interested in is data transparency so like proposals which I guess work streams are most active, which are kind of lacking in participation, not necessarily like, like personal data. Like, I mean, that could be used so, for- That's public probably. already, right? Like, so, so, I mean, I can see mining data that's already public. I'm, I'm just worried about like adding some sort of analytics or tracking or something to collect additional data. I mean, like, you know, if people this are- is all, This is all data um, that's called straight from your API or Shisha's API on the forum. And so, yeah, I mean, if, it's, if it's public information that you could get by looking at the forum, then, then, I mean, I don't see a problem with it if, I don't want to put any additional data collection toolkit stuff in there, you know, that, that, uh, you know, especially not on our products, but, uh, you know, if somebody's engaging with the community, that's, that's sort of, I mean, they're sharing 
what they're doing. That's kind of the point of the exercise. So that's a different category for me personally. Am, am I correct in yeah. saying this is this is the same as the the spreadsheet that Never Was is doing manually? This is a automated collection of current proposals, uh, that kind of thing. Basically, pulling from the APIs of all the all the all the fractured stuff that we have and putting it in one visible place. Is that what I'm hearing? Right. This is all public data and not very, I guess, uh, threatening data. Uh, like, for example, pretty sure no one is going to really trip about collecting all the events that are coming up and all the previous events. And DeepDAO does have an API that does kind of give a bit more, I guess, sensitive info. Like, but that's already available in the blockchain, like rich list or um, who voted what. Um, but we're not we're not trying to look yeah. we're not trying to look for data that's not there. We're just trying to consolidate the data that's available. Well, that seems that seems reasonable. Then the the the, the core guiding principle I think is that uh, the we must not abuse a privileged position to collect data that people don't expect or that that is in excess of what we need uh, to do. You know that that that's just required by the nature of of the process. All that stuff that you were just showing seems to me to be. I mean, you couldn't run a forum and post a public post without, you know, sharing the public post. That's sort of the point. So data mining isn't the bad thing. It's 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 the accumulation of secret data hordes that are the problem, I think. Um, and if the data hoard is public, we call it a blockchain and it's okay. Uh, well said. Hey, LPX, uh, how much um, time? Uh, do you still have more important stuff to cover? We'll be available through GraphQL as well as the REST API. So you, you can see exactly what we're, exactly to, what data. That GraphQL API is is getting nuked uh, when beta.shapeshift.com goes away and V2 becomes a thing. So I don't get too tied to that. Sorry, if you still have more stuff uh, to cover, feel, feel free to keep it going. But um, if you want to let everyone know, we're about to get started with the roadmap proposal meeting in the stage chat. Um, that that's the last slide. Um, yeah, this GraphQL is actually something that we made uh, ourselves, not like with the beta. So, all right, and I guess this is the most important, or one of the most important. I'll go over it real quick. Uh, mostly for, I guess, uh, more guides and top-down view of shapeshift and all the information related to it from services and products and even like all the DeFi tools. Um, yeah, I'm trying to make it easier for translators to, I guess, uh, 